Hello, my name is Stu Flowers. I currently work at Penn Air and my current job title is Automation Designer. I am UL certified as an MTR, which is Manufacturer Technical Representative, and I've been with the company approximately eight years. Penn Air can provide a turnkey solution that begins a concept and ultimately ends up exactly with what the customer wants. From schematics and layouts, design, building, and QC, we can facilitate all of those needs in-house. Customers typically choose Penn Air because we are fair in every aspect of our business and because we do an excellent job of listening to what the customer wants and needs. For every customer, the build will be different. It will all have its own unique sets of challenges and hurdles and obstacles that need to be overcome. We have encountered everything from redlining schematics and layouts to having to redesign and remanufacture things. Depending on the complexity of the issues at hand, we will either handle it in-house, internally, or we'll communicate with the customer just to figure out what the needs are and how to move forward so that we can guarantee the success upon completion of the project. In my opinion, when a panel shop is UL 508A certified, it shows a high level of commitment and strong knowledge base. As an MTR, I can tell you that the test to get certified is very difficult. Definitely the hardest test I've ever taken. When a panel needs to be UL certified, it means that it must be 100% accurate every aspect of the job. From selecting UL certified components, maintaining documentation to verify UL compliance, designing to UL standards, and finally ensuring that the building is meeting UL requirements. I also think that when a shop is 508A certified, it allows a customer to feel a certain level of confidence that the job will be successful. When you design and build the 508A standards, it ensures that the panel and the devices contained within it have met a certain set of safety standards. This helps prevent unnecessary injuries and failures in the field.